So my presentation is touching on basically something Austin and Nikki have already talked about, which is how social economic status determines academic achievement. Um, and so I'm just going to give you a little bit of background. Um, there was a uh, lawsuit, Serrano versus Priest, in 1971, which basically tried to amend the fact that most uh, schools were receiving their funding through local property taxes. Um, and so they revised it so that the target was $100 per people in the state of California. Um, furthermore, after that, in 1978, Proposition 13 restricted it further, um, not allowing school districts to increase taxes for the purposes of funding. Um, and then in 1985, the legislature, legislature says that we had met the, um, our target because 94% of students were within that uh, frame. The difference is, 98% um, of uh, students in East Palo Alto are Hispanic, African American, or Pacific Islander. The Palo Alto School District, 80% of students are Caucasian or Asian. So the divisions are racial. Um, Walter Hayes within the Palo Alto School District spends about $497 per pupil, while Escondido, even within the district there's disparities, spent about $164 per pupil. Um, now one more thing to note is the Palo Alto School District is exempt for Serrano, because their taxes were higher than what the baseline was. So they're currently spending more than $1,000 per pupil, while Escondido is spending about $120, which is supplied by the state. Um, so in order to, obviously somebody had an issue with it. So in 1996, <coughs> there was a court settlement um, based on a lawsuit that required um, that certain students from East Palo Alto be bus, the Palo Alto School District's Menlo Park, and Mountain View. And then in 2011, a uh, PhD candidate at Stanford did a dissertation. And from her dissertation, she noted that there were negligible gains in math and English testing, and while gains were in social sciences and history testing. So I'm trying to tease it out. What are those differences? Um, are they based on parent education, community resources, unavailable parents, uh, two household wage earners, the quality of the care that they've received prior to school, multi-family, multi-general households, acute health um, issues for parents or family members, financial hardship, safety issues. So those are all things that I want to tease out in my project. Thank you. Thank you.